Hi, this is David Vai. I'm the uh, Director of Technical Marketing with the AWR Group of National Instruments. We're here at IMS 2018 and we're talking with Vince uh, Millette That's from right. Focus Microwaves, a very good uh, uh, strategic partner of National Instruments. And, and Vince, maybe uh, we could start, you could uh, tell our viewers what Focus Microwave does, sure. if they don't know already, and then what your role is. Sure. So my name is Vince Mallet. I'm Director of Sales and Business Development at Focus Microwaves. I actually, for the whole Focus Microwave group, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Focus has been around for 30 years plus. Uh, lately, in the last two, three years, we acquired two companies, Missouri out of the UK and uh, Auriga out of the Boston uh, area. So yeah, now you know, we have three main silos of activities, uh, load pool, modeling, pulse IV. And uh, yeah, so we have offices kind of all over the place, mainly headquartered out of Montreal. We have an office in Boston as well, our Riga facility, uh, out of the UK with our Missouri group, and we also have uh, an office in Beijing. Okay, well it would be natural that we would be partnered because you do model characterization, which is the Correct. at the a critical part of design, uh, which is key to our software and, and helping RF designers build power amplifiers, which I would assume is Correct. mostly what we're talking about. Um, uh, load pull being a, a huge part of, of characterizing and, and providing design information for the PA designer as well as the, the modeling stuff. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about what you're introducing or showing here at IMS 2018? Sure. So yeah, again, we have like three silos of uh, products. You know, we have our Pulse IV here. We're at the fifth generation here. This is, okay. uh, you know, we're actually showcasing our new compact modeling capability as well as as well as the new heads and new mainframes. Uh, also, our rapid active load pool. This is a very popular product. Uh, you know, modulation standards are getting like wider and wider, and there's more and more need for this type of application. So obviously, we team up with you guys. So we leverage uh, you know a lot of the technology you guys do in our products. Right. So yeah, the combination and the partnership has been great with uh, NI, and uh, you know now with all the modeling, we're we're partnering with AWR as well. Okay. So yeah, it's been a very great relationship in, in, in that sense. Uh, also, you know, we have a lot of new tuners, high-frequency tuners. Okay. Uh, 5G is uh, very demanding, uh, high-frequency, very difficult test is to do. So we've came up some, with some like high-frequency, high-gamma tuners, and okay. uh, we're showing you seeing a lot, a lot of those at the show as well. So those are being adopted by people who are doing 5G. So you're yes. moving up in the millimeter wave space, like. 28 gig? Yeah, or 28 what? gig, 39 is really driving okay. the, the, uh, the demand. Uh, you know, the challenge we have at those frequencies is the loss. Uh, you know, most of those measurements are on wafers, so you need to be able to integrate that on a probe station. Mm -hmm. And you know, you're limited by the loss of the cables, the couplers, sure. the probes. So we've kind of eliminated a lot of that by just being able to put the tuner directly connected to the probe. Okay. So that, uh, you know, that gives you a lot of capability of greater tuning range. And uh, yeah, you know, this is something that with passive tuners was not really doable in the past, and now it is with, with this new line of tuners. Okay. And is there harmonic tuning involved with that? Yeah. At, even at that higher frequency? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, if most people know Focus and Christos Chironis, his big yeah. thing, he was a pioneer in, uh, in harmonic load pulling, okay. and harmonic tuners, yeah. Uh, yeah, especially in the passive tuners. And uh, yeah, we've implemented that immediately, you know, for him. Uh, Load pull doesn't really make sense without harmonics. Yep. So yeah, that that was a it was a must have in, in the tuners. That's fantastic. So yep. uh, we, we talked about hardware, but you're supporting design engineers. Yes. So I got to imagine there's a, a fair amount of education and, yes. and hand holding. Is that? Can you talk maybe about what you offer in terms of services and yeah. supporting the customer? It's funny because uh, you know modeling wasn't really big, you know focuses thing you know historically you know. We were all about tuners, like live measurements, mm -hmm. like measuring really the device. Um, now with the whole Missouri group, the Auriga group, now we have went to like behavior modeling, yeah. and this opened a whole new set of customers for us and you know, new applications. And now it's funny, like most opportunities we work with, most customers we work with, will require some level of modeling, you know? Right. And so we have two, two flavors of it. We have the compact okay. modeling with the, uh, with the Auriga based uh, system, yep. but we also have our behavior modeling, the CM Plus and the CML. Okay. Uh, that's out of the Missouri group. And it's just like a nice, efficient way of encapsulating the data in, uh, in one measurement. And basically you can load it easily into AWR. Okay. So it's not just like you have contours or load pull data, which you kind of load into, into your software. It's really a whole set of data and that you can use and simulate and do all sorts of things. It's right. extremely powerful. Yes, yes, it seems like that is the trend. More data yes, and then we're on the, on the simulation exactly. side have the ability to, to manage all that data exactly. and, and make sense of it for the for the engineer. And, and so, 
with the, the, the Missouri modeling and that capability, are, are people doing, because we see this a lot for uh, achieving uh, efficiency stuff, people are doing waveform engineering. Right. So right. that is a capability that you're allowing people to get to the current generator and do yeah. some of that kind of Yeah, definitely. The whole thing around, you know, um, our whole Missouri team is like, you know, the waveform engineering is a big thing. And mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, with these new, you know, active solutions, you know, we can do these nested load pools like extremely quickly. Right. So what we do with the Cardiff model is you basically do power sweeps at every single fundamental impedance. Okay. So that's a fundamental model. When you want to push it to a harmonic model, you're basically sweeping uh, the power for every fundamental point, but you're also sweeping for second and third harmonic. Okay. So that's a, creates a nested low pool, which creates lots of data points. A huge points. amount of data, I'm sure. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, if you compare with the passive stuff, uh, you know, that would take, you know, roughly, let's say you want to do 20 uh, fundamental points plus six harmonic points for second and third. That will take you roughly about, you know, six hours to do. Okay. With these type of systems, with the active stuff now, you're, you're looking at like five to ten minutes, basically. Okay. So, so we've reduced it drastically down. So yeah. measurement speed is... Measurement speed is key. Huge, yeah. yeah for sure. Yeah. And so you, what's been the reaction from the uh, attendees here at the show? Uh, yeah, overall, it's been great. Very yeah. good show for us. Uh, you know, the, the high frequency tuners have created a lot of interest. Yeah. Uh, you know, again, it's always the same thing. You know, people want to do these advanced measurements and then just load them into the modeler and okay. like, like just use it in their simulation uh, tools. That's yeah. uh, I would say that's like seventy five percent of the stuff cool. we do now. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So the interest that you're seeing is really a nice reflection on where the oh, yeah. industry is going. You know, people are, are designing these things, and five G is is happening, right? Yeah. And oh, you're no, helping definitely. it. Yeah, and the wide, you know, the modulated stuff is also has huge interest. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, our platform is, is growing. You know, we're scaling it. We're okay. up to 40 gigahertz now. Uh, you know, we have big plans with, with this whole platform. And uh, yeah, with with AWR, you know, the, the it just meshes well together. So yeah, it's, it's a good it's marriage. Good. Yes, it's a good marriage. Yeah, and we're looking forward to more. So yes, hey, exactly. all right. Thanks, thanks for, for the time. taking some time with us. And uh, we wish you the best of luck. All right, thank you very okay, much. Bye bye.